So today, I'm making my way up Mount Katahdin in Maine. Mm -hmm. It is going to be a grind, but it's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed. I'm not going. I'm not physically fit to do this hike right now, so let's be honest. Yeah, it'll be next time. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to breakfast up and jam out. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a long <laughs> day. A lot of miles because of my start and finish, so we're going to see how it plays out. Mm. It's 10 past five. Yeah, just starting my journey from one of the campgrounds uh, outside Baxter State Park. I know it says it's 14.8 uh, miles, but I think the way that I'm doing it, it's gonna knock off at least, uh, I don't know, I'd say like a couple miles. <laughs> no fucking <laughs> idea. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. Okay, what I'm doing. I'm taking the A-Ball Stream Trail to get me to the road that'll get me up to A-Ball Campground. And I'm gonna start my, my ascent at uh, A-Ball Trailhead, which is supposed to be the shortest, but seems to be the hardest of the bunch. Just because of, I think it's like 4,000 feet of elevation gain in uh, I don't know, three and a half miles. Just coming into Baxter State Park. Damn, that's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, we both agreed. Jesse's gonna start panicking if I don't get there by 10 p.m. So, it's five o'clock now. That gives me 17 hours worth of hiking. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, this is gonna be an adventure. Whoa, there you are, Mount Katahdin. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing you. <laughs> I heard it's a tough one. I heard she is a beauty. Oh, cool. Look at these guys. It's a beautiful little mushroom. I got a friend. I made it to A-Ball Pond. And uh, beautiful sunrise, too. Just in time for it. That's cool. Oh, I love this journey already now that the uh the body's all warm let's do some stretching now it's time to stretch out the lungs yeah <laughs> what the f am i doing all right let's get to it let's see where the road takes us I'm walking the road up to the campground and it's it's really beautiful so I've already put in about four miles just to get here. So that is, that is a hell of a warm up. So I'm coming up to Able Campground and uh, this is we're gonna register and put a name in and hit the trailhead. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna figure all this shit out. Oh, it's just registering now. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a ball trail up, hunts down, I think. We'll see how it works out. There we go. That's in. We're ready to do this. Now time to get jamming. It's gonna be crazy. Baxter Peak, 4.4 miles, A-Ball Trail. Damn. This place is cool. There's tons of campgrounds and lean-tos out here. It's really neat. There it is, Baxter Peak. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Fucking <laughs> barging it. Right now it is seven o'clock and our journey is officially beginning. Damn, this is cool. I'm excited. Jesse, I wish you were here with me. I really do. I'm missing you already. <sighs> I just love the smell of the pine up here. It's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's like the sweet pine and the moss. Oh my God. The moss is this brilliant green and it's everywhere. <clears throat> wow. This hike is really cool. 
So the pitch has definitely gotten a lot steeper. It's a bit of a scramble, but nothing like too crazy yet. So I don't know. Let's see what the beginning of the real big ascent. I think like the last half mile is a grind. So we're gonna find out together. So I'm just making it past the tree lines and this view is amazing. Check it out. And it seems like this is where the real grind starts. <laughs> Check it out. Almost to the peak. This is insane. Hello, Katahdin. This is a cool trail. <laughs> Steep. It's a grind. But uh, yeah, man, it is fun. <laughs> there it is. Nice little boulder field. I am loving this part. <laughs> Look at that. I love that cloud. It's so cool. I didn't even see you. This is all bouldering. I mean, you know, it's not like rock climb bouldering, but you, you're boulder scrambling. This is fun. So, yeah. <laughs> it's steep, man. Holy shit. Wow. And I was just talking to some cat that came up from the hunt side, the side that I'm going down on. He said it was a blast tell. I might actually just go down a ball again. If I have to, you know, we'll see where we step in time and energy. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. I just finished the A-ball grind. Oh my God, that is a beast. Oh, what an awesome hike. Hey, check it out. You can see it from up here. It is insane. Right down there is where I just came from. One mile from the peak. Uh, look at this cloud going over this saddle right here. The cloud is passing right through us. Look at that. Just a clear. Just like that. Wow. Made it up to Baxter Peak. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo. Yeah, I made it. What an awesome hike. It's definitely a very, very difficult hike, but it is so worth it. Let me check out these views. It's so cool. Before I get settled in for lunch or anything like that, um, maybe we're gonna head over there and check it out. <laughs> yeah, nice edge, here we come, baby! Yeah, so so far, uh, nice edge is pretty cool. I mean, it's <laughs> if you're afraid of heights, I wouldn't do it, but uh, I mean, if, you, if you're used to heights and shit like that, I mean, this is like, it's manageable. It's actually fun. Yeah, so we got drops down there. That's <laughs> my feet. Drops down there. Like if you if you do like to do a lot of rock hopping or whatever, I mean this place is is the shit for that. Like this is this is totally my jam, and uh, I'm having a blast up here. <sighs> Gonna keep on going. Pomona Peak. Pomola. Pomona. Palo Paloma. Pomola. I don't know. One of them. So that's where I'm going. Uh. All down that ridge line. <laughs> We're gonna see how dicey this really gets. It was absolutely stunning. So this is from Knife's Edge. This is a really cool spot right here. Super dicey on both sides. Some steep stuff down there, steep stuff down there. But what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna turn it around. Yeah, so I'm about uh, halfway through Knife's Edge. Yeah, I think I, I got to experience most of what Knife Edge is gonna provide. You know, but look at this. This is so gorgeous. I saw some really cool spots right at the top, right at uh, right at Baxter Peak, and uh, 
let's settle in there and get some lunch and uh, sit right on right cliffside and see what uh, just kind of relax, settle in. Yeah, I think I'm running out of time too, so it's right around noon now. I don't know how long the country trail is going to be. I'm assuming it's only going to be like maybe three or four hours. I don't know, like an extra hour and a half to the Blue Gray Trail out. No, an hour back. Oh yeah, I got a trail. Yeah. It'll take me another hour to get back over there, but uh, packs are made. So, yeah, I gotta get jamming. And, uh, yeah, see you on the flip side. Yeah, so I found a nice place to just kind of like cash out and have a little lunch date with myself. But check this view out. Check it out. Check it out. This is cool. Here it is. Lunch with a view. One of the many, many, many things I love about summiting mountains. You can have a lunch date with a view like this. This is knife's edge. Yeah, so I made it to right about there and that chimney that i wanted to go to was like right there but man ah, time was just not on my side but i mean still i got a taste of what knife edge was and yeah i'm grateful for that yeah i don't feel like i got shorted out anything the adventure was complete uh yeah it was gorgeous yeah knife sets is a cool place to go so next time, maybe I'll do like the Helen Trail, Helen Taylor Trail, as I, I think is what it is, up and do uh, Knife's Edge and then Chimney Pond. Which, uh, yeah, it's just living in the now, right now. So I'm enjoying my time right now. All right, lunch was fantastic. Now it's the kind of time to finish up this journey. So going down Hunt's Trail and uh, hopefully I can find it within this fog. Cause man, this shit rolled in good. All right, let's do it. All right, so it's one o'clock and I'm starting my descent. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can, uh, see if I can get back. So at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., Jesse starts panicking. So that is my deadline. So let's see if I can do it. Of course I can. There's not, I mean, it, I think, I don't know how many miles I got, but I don't think it's gonna be that long. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> I'm running out of video storage on my phone, so um, the descent part of this video is gonna be pretty choppy, so brace yourself. Hello, lakes. Hunts Trail. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Wow. Ah! Wow, the stone now reminds me of Joshua Tree. It's so cool. This one's fun. Oh, that's cool. This is cool. Wow, shit. Oh, yeah. Going for a dunk and watering up on the last mile. So beautiful. What a way to close it. Hey, here it is. Signing out. Trail is over. Well, the official trail is over. I still have about three and a half more miles back to my home. So, look at the amount of moss out here. This is so cool. Oh my God, I just want to frolic everywhere with my clothes off. So cool. 10 to nine and I'm still hiking. Holy Right now, it's probably around like, uh, I don't know, 10 past 10, and I am exhausted. It wasn't, I didn't, I didn't just get here. I've been here for a little while. My phone ran out of battery. So uh, I actually rolled up at 9.40, I think is when I came back, to, got back to camp, and <laughs> Jesse was already rounding up a... Um, uh, a recon team <laughs> and she was yeah i love her she's awesome yeah so i ended up getting back at 9 40 so i was back before deadline so that was cool i just did 26 well my app and my apple app my health app it says it's uh it says i did uh 26.9 miles today <laughs> that's crazy yeah a lot of that 26.9 miles is just goofing off up top too like just adventuring
That Blueberry Ledge Trail is really, really, really beautiful, especially on the Baxter State Park side. Um, it's nothing but massive amounts of moss everywhere. And um, when I first got there, it was like, um, you could tell, you could feel the energy of the place. The, the forest was not happy that I was there. And what I did was I just reassured it that I'm not there to destroy it or harm it in any way. And I thanked it for its beauty and I thanked it for allowing me to, to, to walk through um, and enjoy its beauty and um, told it that I was going to treat it with, with full respect. And um, yeah, uh, the feeling went away. It was actually a really cool experience. By the end of the trail, <laughs> I was walking around like I was drunk. My knees hurt so bad. So that's probably what added on a lot of time too. Like my knees were cashed. And I think it's just from, it's not like the impact was, I mean, the impact was pretty hard, but I've never had issues with my knees. So it was just, I think, you know, regular wear and not having done 26 miles in a long time. So that was it. So yeah, that was my journey. Thanks for coming along. Uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and come join us on our journey as we travel in our tiny home on wheels. It came off of the, um, the, uh, why can't I think of it? Oh, I'm so tired right now. Um, oh.